telling us in Spanish, and then you invite all of all of us in. It's a beautiful day, so please join us. We're gonna go over the snow hill and we're gonna get cooking. Alan Robertson of the Santos Express and Stone Hill Restaurant. We're filming today with a group of people from Argentina. What's going on? The uh, South American, Latin American, Central American equivalent of BBC Food is a channel called Al Gourmet. They have 16 million subscribers in South and Central America and they're doing a 13 episode shoot in South Africa about South African cuisine. Uh, they chose Mossel Bay as their headquarters for the Garden Route uh, shoot so we decided to give them a taste of Mossel Bay's seafood. So we had this morning, Chef went in and took out some oysters. We got some fish that he shot yesterday. And we will be going to Stonehill to shoot that in a program which will form part of their South African coverage. We're going to be picking for the garden desserts. Uh, you're standing here? Uh, I've got herbs over here, and then I have parsley on the bottom, parsley. and then cherry tomatoes on top. Cherry tomatoes, oh good, yeah. Action! You know, Katia, you're the general manager here mm. at Stonehill and we're in the garden at Stonehill. What is special about this garden? Well, first of all, we grow everything organic. Uh, there's crop rotation. We started working with earthworms and, and vermicomposting. Um, and then also we started on building a new dam over there that will take about 12,000 litres plus. And that will then get used in the greenhouse and, and the hydroponic systems and then pushed back into the dam. So it's just about the carbon footprints again and, and just saving where we can. So we're just taking them through the garden, making them pick their stuff and then they'll go into the kitchen and do the form shoot there. Leon, this is probably the only worm infested wine cellar in, in Mossel Bay. Why, why is it special please? Um, well basically I use these bins for breeding purposes only so they are here to breed and the air conditioning keeps them at a con constant 18 degrees Celsius. This is my experimental bin. The top one is more nitrogen based, this one is very carbon that is pure pure compost and all they do is just their work you keep them happy you give them food you give them a place to stay and you get black gold and these are the ones for your garden these are the ones for the garden yeah. matthew pinker you're a tour guide yeah. how, do, how does this uh, wine cellar appeal to you it's just right up my alley i mean this is this is what you need temperature and the, uh, the wines obviously mind-boggling some of them i mean you could leave in here for a, an hour or two, and it wouldn't really be worth the risk. <laughs> I'll get your glass. <laughs> Tim, you're the chef here at Stonehill. I am, yes. Uh, the executive chef of the company, head chef here oh, at Stonehill. And you do, you do a lot of gangster? Absolutely, yeah. Um, because of the garden, we have the ability and the privilege, everything's fresh. Um, as you can see, I've got microgreens, which is a very healthy option. And what are you going to cook for? Today. Um, I've got a, a three course meal in mind. Basically, I'm going to start off with a, a mousse marinier. And for the main course, it's a, it's a fish and chips with a bit of a twist. Um, I'm doing a green pea jelly with a, a scented mussel. Also, going with that, I'm going to be using some salt and vinegar ice cream, which is a, a bit of a weird uh, taste for those who's not used to it. The fish I'm going to be using is red roman, which is a local fish um, which you caught yes absolutely uh, shot with a spear gun yesterday um, and then for the dessert it's a, it's a combination of garden herbs flowers and fruit um, I've just recently introduced the fruit caviar which is a concentrate of uh, guava puree and orange uh, lovely lovely flavor uh, lavender jelly uh, mint lime and yogurt parfait it's a brandy snack and uh, lavender biscuits
you can uh, if you made a clap, please. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Right. And action. All right, and then. Ah, las tostadas, perfect. Las cuspipaguet. La tiene muy clara de los tiempos. Tim. Just to give it a nice little fresh zing. Add a little bit of. Bueno. Un poco de zest de 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 limón. Fresh parsley, parsley. And then we can also add some fresh parsley. Yeah. Which is uh, on the other side of here. Okay. Beautiful. Clapita. Okay, action. Yeah, so this time of the year, there's so much fish available, vegetables, herbs, it's, it's a bit of a different dish. It's got all the elements of the fish and chips, but just deconstructed. Salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar ice cream. Yes. Sounds a bit absurd, but um, this, this caviar de frutas. What do you call it? The the, the fruit. The uh, this is the guava puree. Uh, well, just you okay. slowly let it drop in one at a time. Perfecto. And uh, suavemente. Y este este esta preparación que que tiene de cloridiato. Acá se está mandando el caviar, el caviar de de, de, de frutas. Muy buena y se tienen perfecto. Sí, sí, sí. Ahí va. Has muscle based food it impressed you? Yes. Why? Um, because your your products they are very very good, very high quality. Thank you. Uh, the the place is very nice. You are behind the ocean. The, I feel in the products and in the vegetables. They come from the organic uh, green garden. garden. Um, they come from the organic green garden. It's very, very nice. It's and a wonderful experience. You've enjoyed working with Tim? He's a great chef, of course. Well, we are expecting to do more than a chapter in Mosel Bay. Oh, really? Maybe two chapters. Exactly. Yes, because it's a, it's a very rich uh, place and it offers a lot of things to, for us, for, uh, for the issues in a, in a show. It's a wonderful place. And it's uh, a little bit uh, countryside look, which makes us remember our, our own restaurants on the countryside in Argentina. It's extremely easy and comfortable shooting here. It's a uh, wonderful lighting, a wonderful climate, and uh, there's, no, there's no difficulty uh, at all. How many people will probably see this show and how often will it be repeated? Well, we should count all the populations in every Latin American country. Around 300, 300 and a half million people watching this show and know in Mosul Bay. Well, there's only one thing we can say. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Muchas gracias a ustedes. Thank you. Okay. Come on, guys, girls. Just...